of the goals of our new tactics, new play development program was to eventually find a play that we could bring off Broadway. And we're so excited that we found Jeff Talbot's play, The Gravedigger's Lullaby, that we're presenting in its world premiere here at the Beckett Theatre. Uh, Jeff Talbot is a company member of TACT, and this is a perfect opportunity for us to expand our artistic mission. We got to develop it with people that we loved in a company that we love, yeah, and really always great. kept it within the walls of that company. It's, uh, it's a real gift. Sorry about your death. Ah, oh, yeah. Me too. It's taken. If you don't want me after, it's fine. He's old, so. Right. But he's mean, too, so it could be that. <laughs> <laughs> It's such a great place to go to work because, you know, there, there's so much camaraderie. I mean, you, you, f you feel that sort of freedom to be like, well, let's do it. It, it might not make it better, right. but let's find out. Don't drag me into your Shut weird up. little... <laughs> this is... I heard you. Standing right here. Charles offers his hand. Gizzard? That's right. Gizzard. Gizzard reluctantly shakes Charles's hand, making no attempt to clean it. I play Balin, and uh, he's a real hard-working man. He's kind of on a downward spiral in his life. Through the play, he sort of gets shrunken and shrunken and shrunken until he's just kind of a shell of who he thought he was. And by emptying himself, hopefully by the end of the play, he's open to what's next. Some of the things that the play wants to talk about, the wealth gap, uh, marriage, are, aren't, aren't new things to talk about, but I think some of what some of the questions the play asks are framed in a different way, and my hope is that people leave engaged with the story and continue a conversation that the play wants to start. 